This short video takes a departure from conventional rocking chair design and construction and I'm going to talk through what is behind this unique design. Now as a designer I usually have an intention that I hope is conveyed in the piece itself. Firstly it's made of solid wood and the aim is to create a minimal concept and I like the idea of bricking together solid wood sections into one continuous curve. But this immediately posed the problem of finishing and the time it takes to achieve a smooth finish on such an expanse of timber. So I make a feature of the problem and I decided here to use an adzed type texture across the chair. I made a special jig for a miniature router, well a trimmer actually but it still took a fair while to do. Now the chair was made for a London exhibition in 2010 and I simply ran out of time. So for strength, I added the upright. It's a compromise really to the original pure cantilever idea. The little seat extensions are jointed using a Festool domino system. And the ash inserts, of course, match the timber in the main construction. The problem with one-off designs is they are at best prototypes, uh, but with room for improvement. So I intend to develop this chair at some stage. Now for too long, rocking chairs have relied on the same way to achieve the rock. In the meantime, rockets have been sent beyond the moons. So let's look at the function of a chair without immediately imposing on it the solution of how it should rock. Uh, but explore instead different ways in which it can be made. Uh, that's the fun of designing and making, of course. 